I want to contrast the uh, usual conventional use of the term currently as it is in psychiatry. Interpersonal is used as something actual, something social, interactions with people. Uh, the patient might be encouraged to have interpersonal relations. By they mean they have contacts with people, do things with people, bring themselves out. For Sullivan, it included actual, but it also included what he thought of as fantasy relationships or attitudes that are colored and affected by past significant relationships. The term transference was not used by Sullivan, but the concept was. And uh, in that concept, one's past significant interactions color one's current experience, even though the person from the past is not present, except in this kind of interpersonal attitude. In fact, Sullivan felt most of the uh, uh, interactions which, with people were by fantasy, attitudes colored, other people looking over their shoulder, so to speak, the voice of uh, the parent or sibling, all enters into an interpersonal arena so that two-person interpersonal relationship would be highly limited, whereas there, it's a much more complex concept. And me uh, talks about some of that in mind, self, and society. Let me give you a very nice example. Okay. Uh, we had a patient from Riggs who was admitted to uh, Shepherd, and he was psychotically disorganized. He couldn't find his way out of the dining room, the cafeteria. Uh, Miles Quaitman worked with him, and over a number of months, he improved to the point where he had as, as his work assignment, which was part of their rehabilitation, was to deliver printing jobs from the printing office to various secretarial offices so he could do his way around. Okay. So he was on this particular task when one of his fellow patients came running up to him and said, guess what? I just had my reevaluation conference and I'm going to be discharged next week. On hearing that, he froze. He couldn't move. He didn't know where he was. He didn't know where he was to go. So he held on for a minute. Then he began to think about experiences with her. And he reflected on a moment on the unit where he had a favorable experience with, he recalled the image of that. With that interpersonal experience, he regained his composure, got back on his route, and went to the office that he was supposed to go to. There was no other person, actual person there. Mm -hmm. She triggered the stress of missing, which he was very vulnerable to. He activated a memory that relieved the loneliness, the missing. And this was enough to take him on his way. So that is the use of an idea or image as a transitional object. Mm -hmm. It's on the same level as a child taking the 
Sucky scarf or whatever it is, and using that as a reassurance. Or Freud's grandchild who was taking the spool. Yeah. That grandchild was having an interpersonal experience alongside of Freud, but with this spool substituting for the mother. By the way, uh, Sullivan's uh, language uh, in writing is uh, rather difficult. It takes some persistence to understand uh, the way he phrases things. Here again, this is very much like Adolf Meyer, who was very difficult to understand. Uh, if uh, the reader would like to uh, start with Sullivan himself, I would recommend the Conceptions of Modern Psychiatry. Uh, might have been published around 48 or so. But at the back of the Conceptions, the last few pages, is an entry by Patrick Mullahy, who was a philosopher student of Sullivan's psychiatry. And I would start with Patrick Mullahy's translation of Sullivan first. Then you can understand Sullivan, then go back and read Sullivan, and I think it makes it easier to follow. The other possibility of the source is uh, that uh, before his death, Sullivan gave a series of seminar talks at Chestnut Lodge, although he was never on the staff there. But those uh, uh, were done maybe in the late 40s and uh, recorded on tire, wire recorders and tape and so forth. And uh, they were put together after his death and uh, again translated by people like uh, Mabel Cohen and others. And uh, it became a series of posthumous books uh, written by Sullivan. But they've actually been uh, heavily edited and uh, a very readable series if one wants to pursue uh, interpersonal theory.